Hi friends, welcome to testing Fedora's point. This is Lokesh, and today we are going to discussing about a uh, introduction to Cucumber BD with Python. Okay, I'm going to making for of a new framework that is using for Python with the Cucumber BD framework. Okay. And we saw about there are different frameworks also, but here I'm going to do for Cucumber BDD with uh, Python. And after this framework, I'm going to do for hybrid framework, which I'm not done in my uh, YouTube channel, okay? Uh, there are one person is asking also for hybrid framework in twin, how we can able to create and all. And that also I'll show you in a couple of days, okay? Once this playlist is completed, then I'm going to do for that hybrid framework as well. Why this uh, frameworks are coming to the picture? Okay, there are the market, we have, uh, there are set of frameworks are presented in the market, right? That is one is keyword driven framework. Okay, keyword driven framework, and we have a hybrid framework. Okay, and also we have Cucumber framework, and we have some data driven framework. Data driven framework. These all the frameworks are presented, okay? And um, I done in my YouTube channel that uh, there is a data driven framework and hybrid uh, I'm not done and Cucumber framework, but different languages I done. Now Python I'm not done for that. I'm going to do for, okay? Here, I'm not going to take uh, that much of like uh, uh, time wasting thing. I'm going to make for easy to understand why Cucumber framework is coming to the picture, how it is there, okay? See, in uh, any different, like if you go for keyword driven hybrid or uh, data driven framework, how it will be there, like completely technical uh, ways we are going to creating for automation script, completely technical. There is no or such a thing like stockholders or some non-technical member. Non-technical is member is nothing but like a BAs and all. They are like a logical thinking. Okay, BAs and some other, uh, any stockholders and users, any member, they knows for logically. They don't know about the technically how we are reading for automation scripting into our, that particular test case, whether we are doing for proper validation on step which we are going to uh, let's take, take the some example like it is like a login page simple like example for the login page and the login page if you are taking for a data driven framework uh, hybrid or keyword driven framework what will happen the data is stored into data they are storing into excel sheet or uh, json or we can able to say yaml any other language, any other or uh, external files or some other place they are storing and they are using, they are for looping the data and they are doing for a validation, right? A stockholder or non-technical member, they can't be able to understand what exactly you are doing. And you have to explain what exactly you are doing in that particular step whether we are covered a valid and invalid valid and invalid cases of a login page they have to know about it right if the technically if you are writing for any other language what will happen you can't be able to understand what exactly the framework is presenting okay what the steps also they don't know. and how uh, they can able to understand Right, they they need to see in the end of the report what exactly you've done the step by step, and then they need to come up with the solution. Right, if you are going to a different approach now, Cucumber framework. Cucumber framework come into the picture with the extension of TDD framework. Uh, we can able to say Cucumber is a BDD framework. It is an extension of extension of TTD is a, a test driven development. BDD is nothing but behavior. BDD is nothing but behavior or data 
driven ttd is nothing but a test driven development okay this is a extension for bd bd is a extension of ttd framework okay it is basically using for automation for bd implement the functionality comes a later stage and we are going to like we are going to give the assurance to creating for the steps for the uh, scenarios like uh, what are the futures or what are the functionality uh, we are not going to create the first uh, implementation and just we are going to say uh, you can able to say some example type now today your sprint is starting they are given for one story in a story what you can able to do it right first you can able to create a test case and you have to do for analysis and all you need to do for analysis these are all the things i'm not going to take much okay and you have, whenever your story comes you have to do for analysis and uh, what all the things is required the test data and everything you have to prepare in the before that okay and once you get the story and you prepare for all the information and gathered about it and when you coming to the automation side in a bdd framework what you have what will happen but the story it is in a development in a uh, developer side but we are not created but we know the story what exactly they are going to deliver in a sprint that moment what will happen we can able to create some steps in a future file we call it as a future file in a bdd framework okay that i will show you how the syntax will be presented you can understand now the what exactly that okay i'll show you the syntax how it will create and what exactly we have to provide in that particular file we can able to create the steps with the language of grikin grikin is basically a simple english language is presented we can able to say a login before login what we have to do opening a browser open some browser any browser or xx browser okay and you have to do for again you need to uh, login with the valid username username and password and again you need to what you need to do and you need to verify verify log logged in user or title of the page like this we are going to create the steps okay this step what he can he, he knows that okay in this particular place login with the valid user in valid, uh, valid username and valid password okay he is doing for proper validation okay chalo like that they can able to think it and once he uh, done the login and he need to do for ver verification about the page whether he, he landed into that particular home page or not for this again he is doing for verification okay done this all the things he done okay this particular scenario is valid like that a stakeholder and business people and non technical member any kind of people they can able to understand your code what exactly you are going to do for your operation okay basically a, this behavior detent driven framework will gives you one particular thing what exactly right uh, a stakeholders and also uh, some uh, other members and developers and qa member all it will uh, put into the one particular place and nothing but a developer is started the development and qa member also started for the similar format of development into a automation scripting okay and this stakeholders also they can know and they knows that okay developers and qa members are there now in a sinking place and they are done for the same thing into automation also before coming okay they are in a same page in in time of the sprint they can able to do for automation as well as they will test for manual testing they, like that they will think it and also what all the story is delivering in that particular sprint those all the steps we are going to covering into the future file 
okay this is the thing it is provided how the future file will be presented and how uh, what all like uh, what uh, what exactly the future file can say is that before that we can able to see some advantages advantage what advantage it will gives a bdd framework assurance the project stack holders are on the same page stakeholders and project and necessary people and everybody in a same page and also the what will happen this it will support for simple english language using gherkin gherkin language using simple gherkin language like anybody can able to understand what exactly we are going to do for our step okay this bdd tests are more reusable and modern and when comparing to tdd test as the changes the business a future specification will lead in a minimal of charges corresponding to the future file okay it is basically bdd framework is an extension of tdd framework as the implying for the business and future specification bdd test have a improved self liner compare comparison into a tdd what will happen whenever you create a, any line of bdd that will compare and it will use you whether this particular step they implemented for automation scripting sir or not this all the things having for our uh, cucumber bdd framework comparing to our ttd framework how the syntax will be presented we will see the syntax syntax is nothing but it will be a future and colon and again it will come to down and you can able to create for scenario sorry scenario and you can able to given and when and then these are the cases are presented okay what exactly future file can do that oh, sorry a future file can do that he give the high level high level which is high level information it will provide high level information high level information nothing but what exactly this future file is doing okay and scenario it will says the test case information what exactly the test case which test case we are going to do for automation in that that is a one it will gives you in a scenario place and given is nothing but it will describe the set of pre conditions of the selenium test automation scenario okay which we are already discussed in the top right the same one it will give you that uh, information what exactly we have to start like opening browser or closing browser not closing browser opening browser and providing the user like a url and all we can able to see in the starting position what all the things we need to open before our uh, validation it will gives you the information there okay when it is described the scenario step uh, when is basically scenario step and this where the execution takes place uh, when plus we can able to say the execution it's like a login to the user you providing for the login user in the first place we can able to say open url and then here we are going to do for of validation validation is nothing but like uh, yeah, sorry not validation it is execution execution is nothing but login into web page with the valid user name and password this is a format we can able to say this execution of the particular step okay once it is execution we need to do for verification the verification condition it is provided by then in then case you can able to verify whether 
the home page is displayed or not like that we can able to any kind of operation based upon our requirement based upon the page we can able to do it for our validation okay this is all about for introduction to the cucumber framework bdd with python in the next session we'll see for how we can able to configure into our bdd framework into python okay and we can able to see the sample test case like a uh, creation about it okay thank you for watching and please subscribe my youtube channel and don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you